got electricity. I will put the electrodes of the apparatus into the beaker of water. There's no light coming from the light bulb. If I dissolve a material in this water and the light lights very brightly, the dissolved material is called a strong electrolyte. As an example, here is a small amount of table salt. I'm going to add just a little bit to the water and stir it up. As it dissolves, the ions of sodium and chlorine, which are charged particles, go into the water, which will now allow the solution to conduct electricity. So the ionic substance, table salt or sodium chloride, is a strong electrolyte. The term non-electrolyte refers to a substance which dissolves in water but does not allow electrical conductivity. Here is some sugar, which I will dissolve in the water. As the sugar dissolves, the light does not light up. So sugar is a non-electrolyte. Some acids and bases are also strong electrolytes. Here's an example of some hydrochloric acid. Only a little bit in the water. Water. And about 10 drops. will allow the light to light up very brightly. So the acid is also a strong electrolyte, therefore it's called a strong acid. Acetic acid, on the other hand, dissolves but allows very little electricity to go through the water. See how the light bulb gives off much less light with a lot more acid. Thus we call acetic acid a weak electrolyte and it is a weak acid.